and welcome to my channel. Today's video is a requested video on how to work with loose eyeshadows. And yes, I also struggled at the very beginning that I got some loose eyeshadows, but over the years I've started to know how to work with them. It requires a tiny bit of a different technique than working with pressed shadows. So in today's video, we're gonna go over the different things that I personally do to improve working with loose eyeshadows and the things I would recommend for you. First things first, you have different types of loose eyeshadows. The first one that I want to talk about are matte eyeshadows. This one is by Notoriously Morbid. It is the black one that I use most often. It is Bloody Awful Poet. This is a matte loose eyeshadow, which is actually the easiest type of loose eyeshadows to work with that I find personally. Then you also have shimmer eyeshadows. So these are uh, eyeshadows that have glitter or shimmer mixed in with the colors pigments. Now, of course, Notoriously Morbid is not the only brand that makes these. I also have some by Sugar Pill. I have two red ones and these are their loose eyeshadows. And then finally, their Star Crushed Minerals, who are especially known for their glitters. I also have some shadows by them. So now that we know that there's different types of loose eyeshadows, I want to talk about primers. The first primer I want to talk about is my everyday primer. It is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Yes, I always buy the travel size because I never go through a full size and this way it just stays better. So no matter what I will do when I'm using matte shades, I will always prime with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, set it with a nude color and then start working on it with the colors. The next product I want to talk about is by Notoriously Morbid and it's called Shadow Bind. And I find this especially good on the shimmery shades. I think this really helps to bring out those duochromes or glitters or shimmers that are in it. I personally never use this for matte shades since it tends to darken them up just a tiny bit. So I would highly recommend the Shadow Bind for all shimmery shades. The last one that we have is the Star Crushed Minerals Glitter Adhesive. This is a tiny bottle of it and this basically does more or less the same as Notoriously Morbid's Shadow Bind. This helps glitters to adhere to your eyes. Now they are more or less the same. This formula is a bit runnier than the one from Notoriously Morbid, but they do about the same thing. And finally, I have two products that are totally optional, but I tend to use from time to time. These are NYX Jumbo Pencils. And I will use these after I have primed my eye and set it with a neutral shade. I use the black one if I really want a really, really dark, opaque look. The black one is 601 Black Bean. And then we also have the white one, which is 604 Milk. This one I use if I want really bright and vibrant colors. The next thing I want to talk about are brushes. The way you apply your eyeshadows can make a great difference in how it lasts onto your lid. And the first brush that I mostly use is this one by Real Techniques. It is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. And this brush I will use to set my eyeshadow. So I will be using this with the nude shade to just go all over my lids to create an even base. Then most of the time what I will do is I will either pick up this really nice flat brush to pack on some color. This one is really good because it has really sturdy bristles and that's what you're gonna see on most of these. They have really sturdy bristles so they take up the eyeshadow really well and you can really pat it into place. Now also with that one I have more or less the same brush but smaller. This one has also a really sturdy tiny brush and I really like this for going into my crease or creating an eye shape that is more detailed. In the same style we also have this one. This one I use mostly for underneath my eyes. It's just a very dense pointy brush. It's very small. It's very good for just going underneath your eye. Then we have two left. This one, the smallest one, is a really small. It's called the Accent Brush by Real Techniques. I like this for going into my inner eye corner or blending things out underneath my eye. I switch it up between this one and the sturdy one that I showed you before. And then this one is a really small blending brush. I like this to smudge out my eyeliner, but I also like to use it into my crease or into smaller spaces. If I just need to tiny bit blend out a shadow, this is ideal. This one is called the Smudge Brush and it came into a duo with another brush that is kind of similar to this one but even smaller. I both like them but I think this one I prefer slightly. 
Then finally we have two more fluffy brushes. This one is a smaller one, it's by Park Avenue. It's called their Blender Brush. I like this for applying shadows all over my lid if I don't need them to be very opaque. And then finally we have the Base Shadow Brush by Real Techniques. And no, I do not use this as a base shadow brush. I use this as my actual blending brush. And why do I use this as a blending brush and not my big actual fluffy blending brush? Because loose shadows don't need as much blending as pressed shadows and I think this one is just perfect for it. So now let's go to the actual tips. My first tip is to always use a base and to set it with a neutral color so you have an equal nice base to start working on. Tip number two is to always tap off the excess powder of your brush so you minimize the fallout you will get on your face. Tip number three is to do your eyes before the rest of your makeup. That way if you have any fallout you can just simply wipe it off and get rid of it. And finally, tip number four is to mix your shimmery eyeshadows with your shadow bind or your glitter with your glitter glue separately before applying it to your lid. And I try to do the same with my glitters, although with glitter sometimes I like taking a bit of the shadow bind of the glitter glue on a brush, apply it to my lid and then tap the actual glitter on. But if you want to have less fallout and less glitter everywhere, I would highly recommend mixing it together. And you don't have to have a a mixing plate especially for that you can also use uh, the top lid of one of your shadows but make sure to clean it afterwards you can also use a CD case anything actually that you can just mix your shadow with the shadow bind or the glitter with the glitter glue and now for the tutorial let's switch to voiceover me I am first setting my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the color So Goes My Nation by Notoriously Morbid. This is for me the perfect nude shade. Next I am taking my slightly fluffier brush and the color Always Your Girl. This is a very nice purple and start to create the shape I want. Next I am taking the shadow bind mixed with Walking on Sunshine and I'm applying this directly onto my lid which creates this gorgeous chrome shimmery shade and I'm also applying this on my lower lash line but I'm applying this without the shadow bind so it creates a less shimmery but still a very nice purple look. The next thing I am doing is just intensifying the colors a tiny bit, blending them out. The color I am using to blend everything out is called Good Little Girl Routine and I am also using some Bloody Awful Poet which is the black color to deepen my crease. The next step is to make my eyes really pop so I am using It's the White Hats as a inner eye corner highlight and also underneath my brow bone and I am quickly filling in my eyebrows which I had previously forgotten with just a basic black matte eyeshadow. The next step is to apply eyeliner. I am using the black bean jumbo pencil on my waterline and my Kat Von D liner in Trooper to create a really nice winged eyeliner. And to completely finish this look I am using the Hunter Lashes by Red Cherry Lashes and some Essence Extreme Lash Mascara in the waterproof version to create this really pretty look and I am super happy with how it turned out. And as some of you have noticed, I have become an affiliate of Notoriously Morbid since this year. I am super excited about it. You guys can use my coupon code ARFIA333 if you are placing an order at their website. This will give you a 15% discount on your entire order. And no, this video is not sponsored. Notoriously Morbid did not ask me to make this video. It was you guys, the people who see my pictures, who asked me to um, explain how I work with my loose eyeshadows. I hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i make new videos every week and i would love to have you for every single one of them thank you for watching and i will see you soon bye